Hello friends, in this video we will know about different quality checks in the meshing. So we go to the option of tools and go to check elements. In this check elements we have 1D, 2D and 3D. Right now we are concerned with 2D elements. So select 2D. We have warpage, aspect ratio, skewness, chordal deviation, cell squish, minimum length, maximum length, Jacobian, then skewiness, paper, minimum angle, maximum angle, etc. So we will know in detail what are these quality check elements. First of all, we will know about what is warpage. So warpage is the amount by which an element or element phase deviates from being planar. It is calculated by splitting a quad element into two trias and finding the angle between them. So we have a quad element that is a quadrilateral. First of all, what we do is we divide this element into two triangles. We have one triangle and this is second triangle. And then we draw a perpendicular unit vector to them. This is the vector one. This is the vector two for second triangle. And the angle between them is represented by angle alpha that is warpage. So generally the angle up to five degree is allowed as a warpage angle in hyper mesh. Next is we have is the aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is the ratio of longest edge of the element to its shortest edge. Now let us consider we have an element like this that is quad element. In this element we have a side that is of maximum length and the second side is of minimum length. So the ratio of these sides is called aspect ratio. Generally in hyper mesh the aspect ratio up to 5 ratio 1 is allowed. And then we have skewness. Skewness is calculated for tri element and quad element. In case of tri element skewness is calculated by finding the minimum angle between the vector from each node to the opposite node mid surface to the opposite node mid and the vector between the two adjacent mid sides at each node of the element. So we have a triangle here. In this triangle I take the midpoint of two lines. This is the midpoint and this is the midpoint of these two lines and then from this end point I draw a line like this and then from this midpoint and to second midpoint I draw another line. Now the angle between these two lines is represented by this skewness and this skewness is defined as 90 minus this angle alpha. So this is the minimum angle. Similarly we can find out this skewness for different lengths. Okay so now in case of quad element first of all we will find the midpoint of these lines the first midpoint second third midpoint and fourth and then we will join them to create the lines and the angle between them this is the minimum angle alpha so 90 minus that angle is called as the skewness then one more parameter we have is the chordal deviation so chordal deviation help in determining how well curvature has been modeled so it is used in case of curvatures it is defined as a distance between the mid node of an element edge to the curved surface it is only applicable for linear elements then jacobian jacobian is useful when there is a shift of transformation of coordinate system okay so the acceptable value of jacobian should be greater than 0 0.6 and the ideal value is 1 then we have taper so taper we can find out by going to this formula you can read it the taper ratio for quadrilateral element is defined as by find, first finding the area of the triangle formed at the each corner. First of all we will find the area of triangles and then we will use this formula to calculate the taper value. Then we have tet collapse. So tet collapse is used in case of 3D mesh. So we will cover it later when we work on the 3D meshing. So when we create the mesh we have tri element and quad element. In case of tri element if we have a equilateral triangle this is the best type of element when the angle is 60 60 degree in case of ok we have one element that is 90 degree and then we have isosceles triangle like this very poor meshing is called when we have one angle is very high or another angle is very low like in case of this one angle is 10 degree one angle is 105 so this is a poor type of meshing we have to avoid this type of meshing element. In case of quad element the best element is square type. We can also use this type of element like rectangle. 
and then at some angle and then parallelogram and we have to avoid this type of quad element where angle is very small we have a trapezoidal like figure like this so you can read this pdf here definitions are given of skewness then aspect ratio wall page jacobian so you can read it what is the actual meaning of jacobian